chicken curry. Mary, this recipe is for you. Hello and welcome to AntiDarren.com. How are you this wonderful morning? Today, a really, really quick, easy and cheap chicken curry. Remember, if you're on this channel, you're on this channel because you want to know how to budget your money and how to make every bit of your shopping feed your family and get them so, get them so they're eating really, really well, but you're not spending an absolute fortune. Now, we all love an Indian takeaway. I like an Indian takeaway, you like an Indian takeaway, but it can be ever so, ever so expensive. So what I want to do is I want to take you through some stages of how to do a chicken curry really, really easy. It's not going to be authentic. It's going to be as authentic as I can make it. Um, I've had a little bit, I've done a little bit of research um, because I like a little bit of fruit in my curry, this is going to be a more Carolan style curry. So it's got sweeter spices, it's got cinnamons, it's got ginger, it's got um, a little some sultanas in there. I know it's the way your grand used to make them, but it's the way I like, like it. It's got quite a bit of spice in there, it's thickened with a little bit of... Uh, with a little bit of yogurt it's really really nice so without further ado and as i said in the intro as i said before the titles this is for you mary larkin you asked for a chicken curry recipe now i love chicken curry and it's been a pleasure doing this video just for you so let's go over now to the bench and i'll try and talk you through exactly what to do now first things first we need to get a pan on a heat onto medium heat medium medium heat that can be that can be heating up really really slowly next thing we're going to go on to is the spice mix now i could turn around and say make your own curry paste buy a jar of curry paste but we're trying to do this ourselves i'm trying to keep it really 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 um as inexpensive as possible so here all i've got is touch of salt some black pepper garam masala really really cheap curry powder and a touch of cumin okay and all i'm going to do with that is i'm just going to mix it together that's my spice mix made I've added the extra spices to the curry powder because I have them if you don't have them please don't go out and buy them you just use a, a, a madras curry powder it's got everything in it that you're going to need also when you're buying spices don't first of all go to the supermarket spice rack you will pay a fortune you really will for little itty bitty pots of anything if you're buying spices always go to the world food aisle or the food of the world aisle and look in their spice section there bulk packs of them for under a quid but remember only buy them if you're going to use them end of lecture let's get on to the recipe quite simple as with all curries we need to start with an onion and all you need to do with that onion is slice it not chop it we're going to slice this onion and i'm slicing it in half moons because I want it to be stringy and luscious. The base of most onion, the base of most onions, the base of most curries you'll find are onions. So into that pan, I'm going to add a glug of vegetable oil i'm using a rapeseed oil if you have them it's always nice to add 
some uh, black mustard seeds. If you haven't got them, don't worry about it. Don't add them. We'll just use a curry powder. But as I've got them, there are the black mustard seeds. I'm going to allow those to fry till they start to pop. Once they start to pop, I'm going to go in with the onion. Turn the light down to low and put a lid on it. Now into that low light, I'm going to add a little tiny splash of water because I don't want the onions to burn. Just water out the kettle, it really doesn't matter. And now we're going to go on to preparing the chicken. So I'm just going to get a nice fresh board. Now what cut of chicken have I used? On here, as you can see, I've got beautiful, beautiful chicken thighs. Now, these are grade A chicken thighs. These are supermarket owned. They, they really are. Although they're grade A, they're also from supermarket basics. So don't think that you have to spend a lot of money. If you've got the money to spend, free range organic would be wonderful. But to be honest, if you're on this channel, we're a little bit skint and we're looking at saving the money these are slightly higher welfare as you know i may be saving money but i i do want to look out for um the animals because i like animals so all we need to do and with a separate board we're just going to cut these thighs into chunks non non-religiously it doesn't really matter they're all they're going to cook in they're going to cook in an oven yeah, that's another thing. I don't like cooking it on top of the stove. I prefer to bake it in the oven for a little bit. It saves me a little bit of time. It saves me a little bit of stirring, to be honest with you. And as you know, I'm a bit lazy. So if I can possibly save time doing something, that's five. I'm feeding four to six, four to six people. So that's only... Um, Let me think. That's only five chicken thighs. Now, if you want to speed this up, you can use a chicken breast. But if you're using chicken breast, you must remember, while you're cooking it, chicken breast doesn't have as much fat. I've got a chicken breast here that I'm going to put into it. But chicken breast doesn't have as much fat on it. So, you need to watch the amount of time you don't breast isn't the best for breast isn't best for curries it's it cooks quicker it dries out quicker and there's very little fat on it so that's the chicken sliced up on top of that chicken i'm going to start the seasoning process so i'm going to put a little bit of that curry garam masala mix onto it and i'm just going to mix it round it's a more a dry rub than a, or a seat or a dry rub and a seasoning but there you go and that can go back on its little plate because it's all prepared for the, give it chance for the spices to molder in there a little bit and i'm now just going to go and wash my hands now the fruit i'm going to add to this because as i said it was a carolyn curry Let's dry that knife off after washing it. Don't forget, if you're using raw chicken, wash all your ingredients, your board and everything. I'm just going to use a touch of a slightly sour apple. Not too sour. So something along the lines of a Braeburn or a Granny Smith. All I want to do with that is just give it a slice now a lot of you say when I do videos like this 
that you don't like fruit in curries. Well, I totally agree with you. It has its place. But this one that I'm doing is was specifically designed in Kerala, which is a part which is a part of North India. It contains apple, it contains dried fruit, and it means that it adds a little bit of extra flavour in there. If you don't want to add the fruit to it, don't add it. It'll keep it a little more savoury. Every now and again we're just going to go into the pan. Another hint when you're frying something, if you don't want it to brown so quickly and you're using the lid, just add a little tiny touch of water to it and that will help it brown down and it will stop it burning on the pan. The water helps with the frying. You just want these onions to be light golden brown and you know, there you go. Dancing around in the pan, that's what you need to see. Anyway, what do you want to see in the next video? You let me know. If you let me know, I will do it. And don't forget, while waiting for these onions, take a minute, go down below, leave me a big top comment. Go on down below into the comment section underneath this video on YouTube. Leave me a comment. I want to know all about you. I want to know who's following me, who's watching me, what sort of things you want to see, what sort of content you would like me to do. I am an open book. I will do anything. I know that somebody asked me for a vegan Wellington on Anna Major's site. So Anna and the girls, how are you? girls and boys, sorry, let's not be sexist. Anna and the girls and boys on our Hot Deals uh, you, Hot, Hot Deals and Bargains UK. I'm listening to you all. You're wonderful. And we do have a vegan, a vegan nut Wellington. And I hope that the recipe that I've found for you comes. It is going to come in a couple of weeks though. Um, I have a few things going on. Hayley, Hayley Bailey, how are you darling? You want to see some, um, oh let's see, what did you ask for? Oh yeah, macaron. Not macaroons, macaron. So I'm going to do a macaroon, macaron cook-off. What's the difference between the two? One's coconut, one's English, one's very old English. The other one is almonds and French and ponce and, but I'm still going to do it for you. That's coming in in the next few weeks. Sue Parker, you saw, I've done your roast potatoes for you. I know, roast potatoes. But use those Hasselback roast potatoes. I have done it, did it with a beautiful bit of lamb, Yorkshire puddings, all that. That's basic masterclass. We are doing more and more and more, but we are going to be doing more and more back to basics because I've found out that not many people are getting taught home economics at school. I was, mind you, I am getting on too old now. So yeah, so. Let's go back into this pan. And that for me now is perfect. For me to start adding the rest of the ingredients. Now, I thought long and hard about how I was going to recommend garlic and ginger for you. Now, it's one of those things, it lasts for ages in the fridge, but we want it so it lasts for more than ages. We want it so you can just go open a jar and it lazy person's cooking. And I found these uh, KTC uh, ginger and garlic pastes, they're ready to use, open them and put a spoonful in your thing. So on top of those onions I want half a teaspoon of garlic, two teaspoons of ginger, oops a day. I really wish we had smelly vision because if you could smell this right now, it smells amazing. And I'm just going to add on top of that, that pre-seasoned chicken. A 
I'm going to add the lid onto it and let it cook down for five minutes just to develop some colour. So after five minutes, remove the lid. Oh, you'll notice that's cooked out, started to cook down beautifully. Got loads and loads of juices in there. Now we're going to start building the flavours in this. So I just want to very quickly move the meat to one side of the pot. First layer of flavour. Hang on, just let me grab something. Oh, there you go. Need that. And I'm going to need that. First layer of flavour, tomato puree. Now, just in case any of you don't know, and you've got a brand new thing, your tomato puree like this, and you open it, little hack for you, in the lid, there's a little thing to stop you having to use a knife. There's a little uh, star-shaped nozzle that pushes in and that's your tomato puree ready to use. So you want approximately a tablespoon of tomato puree. That needs to go into the hot pan and it needs to cook down for a couple of minutes. reason you cook it down for a couple of minutes it gets rid of that really acidic flavor that can come from although this comes out of a tube tin tomato products and that comes from specifically from tomato puree it stops it tasting what i like to call tinny tinny nice word anyway once that's cooked for it only takes a minute or so so it'll slightly change its color we're now going to add the remainder of the spice mix that we made earlier. We're going to add some more of that into. And we want those to warm up in the fat and the juices. I'm going to move the chicken into it. So essentially, what you're making from this is I suppose a curry paste but you're doing it in your pan that looks and smells amazing on top of that I want to add approximately a teaspoon or the tip of that tablespoon extra of turmeric and if you have it that same amount of garam masala little bit extra layering the flavors down stir it through The next ingredient is your apple. Because it's a Carol and Curry, the, dry, the dried ingredient of this, I'm going to add some sultanas. I know, it takes you back to 19, 1960s when they used to make, when you used to make curries in the 1960s. Then a tin of chopped tomatoes. Now, I'm using chopped tomatoes. If all you can find are plum tomatoes, they are better for this job. I'm using chopped tomatoes because that's what I have. And this is also all about using what you have in your pantry. So, tin of chopped tomatoes going in. In the bottom of that tin, you've got nothing but flavour. So, we're going to add the tin full. of water into there and on top of that because you use tin tomato products not to add sweetness but to balance out the flavour we're going to add about a tablespoon 
of sugar. I'm using caster sugar. You can use demerara sugar. You can use whatever you have. Caster sugar, brown sugar, granulated sugar. It really, really, really doesn't matter. Now, what I want to add on top of that, excuse me a second. See, prior planning and preparation every single time. What I want to add on top of that is one chicken stock cube. Now, use the powdered variety. These ones I'm using, um, there's no other, way of put, no other way of putting them, although I'm not giving out anything for brands at the moment, are OXO cubes. But I'm just going to powder that into there, like so. Stir everything through. And I want that to come up to a boil. Once that comes up to the boil, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to put it into an we're going to put it into an oven about 180 degrees for approximately three quarters of an hour to an hour. And that is as simple as I think a curry should be. Let's go and have a look and see what's happened to the curry. It really is. It's fabulous, unctuous, thick. Increase or decrease the spice the way you want it. Oh, I'll just get another spoon out. All I want to add to the top of this now is a little bit of about a couple of tablespoons of Greek yogurt. If you haven't got Greek yogurt, a normal yogurt will do. The beauty of Greek yogurt is it's thick and it will not, it probably won't split. It says probably. It's got a good fat content in there so it won't split um, when you add it to the curry. So, one two let's go for three yeah, yeah. three tablespoons oh do like green yogurt you know i really do it's oh it's got a little bit of tang to it and it's mm, unctuous and nice and just gonna stir that through Oh my God, and if there is a God, oh, and I'm sure there is, that is a dish that you put on this earth. It's fabulous, it's wonderful, it's marvellous. And that is my quick, simple, easy, oh, chicken curry thank you very much for joining me if this is the sort of content you want to see please 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 don't forget thumbs up follow me on social media and subscribe down below subscribe to my channel turn the bell notification on so you get informed of every new video that i put out i put one sometimes two videos a week out it's all about feeding your family for less so i really really hope you enjoyed my content Come and join me again next time and we will have a wonderful time together. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. But leave in the comments down below, tell me what you would like to see. I've been Auntie Darren. You have been absolutely amazing. See you next time.